All right, guys. This is the new Kyle Kestis inspired blaster kit uh, that I've made. Uh, it's got a spring loaded trigger, it's one to one scale. As you see, as we go through the, um, the assembly, I tried to make it as easy to paint as possible because it has so many small, fine details like the little wires and stuff. But let's go ahead and get one out here. Get it opened up. Right. Okay. So, like I said, I've tried to make this as easy as I can to, to uh, for painting and uh, assembly. Even the even down to there's a when you look at his blaster, there is an insert, and if you notice. You know it's hollow down through here and there's the little thing on the end of the barrel what I did was I made the entire insert that's in here because it's a different painted a different color uh, than what that blaster itself is so on this insert you've got these details right here these details match up with these openings and um, all you got to do is once you paint it Slide down there and glue it, and it, it's the same exact detail. It still has the pass through, but still has the details and stuff uh, down in there. So that makes that much much easier to paint because before you would have to like try to get down in there and paint that, and I was like, yeah, that's that's not going to be feasible. Um, the um the wires. These little bitty wires I know y'all have seen while playing the game and stuff. These are all different colors. I have a rendering, uh, and I'll probably post the rendering uh, in the video, probably at the beginning or the end, so you can pause and look at it, of what color the wires are supposed to be. Michael at Fan Fiction Props painted uh, the one that I have the painted pictures of. And basically, on the wires, I made them raised up enough to where, of course, you have to have a steady hand and not drink a bunch of coffee like like I do, you know, take a break or whatever. But the paint pins, and that's what he used, and they're raised enough that you can follow those wires, and they come out looking great. They, I mean, they absolutely look great. And including the little gold cylinder that sits on top of his... Um, here, let's just get all this out of here. That sits on top of the barrel, uh, at the back of the barrel. This cylinder is gold. But it also has, uh, like, I think it's orange and red wiring that runs down the side. So, of course, I couldn't really make, I could have made those separate, but they're so fine that uh, it would have been very hard to, um, to, to print those in an orientation that made the wires look the best. So they're still attached, but I did it in a manner which you can set here with a paint pen and paint those out and they come out looking good. I mean, Michael was even, there's little brackets here uh, on the blaster that hold the wire. He's even able to take a paint pen and paint his silver and stuff. So it looked absolutely awesome. Uh, but so, and I broke it down. Uh, there's in the blaster, there's this uh, little gribble here that's gold versus what color the rest of the blaster is and I went ahead and made it separate and uh, it just once you paint it you can slide it in there and it still gives really good definition and separation um, in there so take that out for now this one's very easy to assemble uh, there's not much to it um, I'll get all the, the screws out here not, not many screws um, it's really just the screws that hold the grip on and the two just for looks right here and then you have the set screw that will hold the um, the spring and the trigger in and of course then you have your orange safety tip uh, that you must put on so I'll leave that um, <clears throat> so and this little doohickey here, which is very fragile, um, on the actual, um, okay, what am I looking for here? Oh, 
on the actual blaster there's this this little uh, gribble that's down inside here and it looks like it's actually like filled with clear uh, acrylic or you know whatever and this is just a little detail that's down in there well of course there's no way for me to make you know the clear acrylic molded piece but at least that's there so I mean, I'm sure some of you, if you want to go go to the extent, and and some of y'all are creative as hell, is, you know, you can once you this is all glued together and painted, you can literally go in here and tape you up some uh, side walls and fill this with cr uh, clear acrylic, and once it hardens and stuff, you can take it off and and sand the roundness to it and make it flush and make it clear see through if you want to. Um, but so let's go ahead and get to assembling. Uh, what I always say is uh, I use CA glue. If I don't have CA glue available, I use thick super glue. But CA glue is basically thick super glue that takes longer to set until you spray it with an activator. Um, I'm not endorsing this product. I'm just saying uh, this is uh, a CA glue that I found that's always readily available. And it has been rock solid. I've not had a bad batch yet. Um, so... And the, the, the activator is AC200 and the CA glue is CA50. I buy them, they come in a bundle. So um, for what it's worth, that's some very, very, very good glue. Now that I've strewn everything around here, uh, what we can go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and glue this dude. And again, don't screw up like I almost did because this can go in backwards the wrong way. And when you do that, you're just kind of, you want the details in first. And on this, really the easiest way, you, you don't care, it doesn't need a lot of glue to keep it like, it's not a structural part. You just need a little glue in there to make sure that, um, you know, it stays. Multiple ways of doing that. You can put it almost all the way in, put your little bit of glue and a little bit of glue and slide it down in there you do run the risk that it's gonna wipe the walls and puddle up for you to, to come off. What I would do, and what I am gonna do, so, is I'm gonna put a little glue on this end, so that way when I take this and slide it in and it, and it drops and hits the back back there and stops, that's what's gonna adhere it. I'm not gonna have it attached anywhere else in here. There's no need to. Um, unless like, I'm, nah, I mean, there, there's really not a need to, cause once you put paint on this, it's going to be a lot tighter fit. So I am going to just put me a little dab will do you there. Make sure it's going in the correct direction. Drop it down in there. Let it set for a minute. May even take something and not, not that it's necessary, but push it down just against the Okay, so that should be, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yep. All right, so then the next thing I get, we can go ahead and glue the barrel on. Uh, as far as the barrel goes, I mean, there's not a, like, specific thing that you need to do. Just be careful with your glue. Always put the glue, always when you're gluing stuff, put the glue inside the hole. Um, don't ever put the glue on something that's going inside and the reason being is when you go to put it together you'll wipe the glue and when you wipe the glue you'll end up it will puddle up on the outside of wherever you're at same same way as if you um let's find something here um this isn't really a good example but you say you you go to put these two parts together well if you put all the glue on here when you put it together, it's going to smash out everywhere. But if you put the glue down in here, you have less tendency where it's going to smash is going to be in areas that you're not going to see. Um, I wish I actually had something. Okay, here, this is the spring retainer. If you were to put glue around the edge of the spring retainer and go to slide it in, those walls that it's sliding around is going to wipe that glue back. And it's going to cause it to ooze out and, and pull up around your edges and just cause a mess. Where if you were to take your glue and just put it around the inside edges in there and then drop that in, boom, you're good to go. 
you might get a little come out, but that's just going to be because you put more in than, than there was empty space, but not because it wiped it. Get that back. Okay. So let's go, anyways, so let's go ahead and glue this barrel in. So all I'm going to do is put a bead down this side, put a bead down this side, and that's about it. Now I'm going to spray, pre spray can't talk, that part, kind of wiggle it in there to make sure the glue touches on both sides, that it's seated where it needs to be, give it a minute for it to cure, and we're done. Done, 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 done. Now, if I go to put stuff together and backtrack for a second, it's been about three weeks since I've made the model and I built one. Uh, I shot this video once already and it got corrupted and lost. So I'm having to reshoot it now. Um, and I, I'm like working on three different models right now, currently designing them. So sometimes my brain doesn't want to kick in and be like, hey, you don't put that part on first, you put this part on. So we'll go ahead and do some like the little gribbles. So even like with this, um, you when you paint this dude, you got to slide this in and you got to glue it. Well, the thing is about that is pretty much no matter what you're going to do on this one, you're going to wipe some glue in one direction or another. So that's the good thing about using some CA glue instead of actual straight uh, super glue because super glue has a, a tendency to, as it cures, it will leave that white chalk behind or it cures rapidly even like you breathing on it or carbon uh, uh, dioxide that you expel is what will cure the super glue so just be prepared with something to wipe it off wipe it clean real quick um, you know it's and I actually meant to ask Michael how he got his in so well and and I guess if you put a small enough amount on these edges so as then when you get to push it will only spread so much that'll probably be the best idea and like I said I I, I, I actually have assembled four of these and I have yet to glue one of these in this piece um, but I was hell-bent that I was going to make it separate for you guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hold it down but I'm going to put like a drop here a drop there and maybe a drop here close to the edge as I can but and not too far back and definitely not too big of a drop um, my hands are too shaky to hold it way up there I'll try to keep it in boom just a little bit a little bit and the reason we don't want them too high is when we go to push this in we it's going to pull a little bit you can even go in and add an angle to get it up over the drops Let's see how we did. Not bad, not bad. There's one tiny little shiny spot right there of glue. So now you can just kind of feel on both sides if it's centered or not. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a lot less uh, of an issue. Thought as I just like how it it's being a separate part. It also gives that very. Uh, Def, uh, defined edge uh, like you know it is a separate piece and it's going to be a separate paint color and everything else um, th this dude right here I mean it literally we will do the, the the trigger and stuff first but this this piece right here you know you're going to cover a, a big chunk of this but I would suggest getting your stuff primed up do your little you know quick sanding to it whatever it is you're going to do to get the, the finish you want do your base coat and sit down and not glue any of this together and sit down and pin stripe in your silver you know dot your little silver connectors do all your wiring first you know and then do the other side before you ever start doing any assembly because the thing is is you may have to go in there knock a little bit off and that's the other thing i highly suggest you know you 
uh, pretty much anything that I ever get to paint, which is not much in the past couple of years, because it's just, uh, it's, anyways, is you're going to be using spray paints and primers and stuff with urethane or, or enamel, whatever. I always suggest to get acrylic paint pens because acrylic paint pens are water-based. So if you go in here and you draw, you, you, you go over it, like you've already painted this with acrylic. The other thing I suggest, and a lot of people are like, you can't do that, man. I've been doing it for freaking years. So you do what you do you and I do me. But what I always do is like, I, if I base coated this and I got the finish just exactly the way I wanted, take you like a flat or a matte clear coat and that's it don't you're not trying to coat coat it but that will help seal and protect what you've already done and right on top of that clear coat because clear coat is not a damn bit of difference than the base coat it's the same paint just without any pigment added to it and a lot lot more hard hardener added but once you've done that now you now you can go in and do your trim work and if you're using acrylic and you don't like the way that you know you screwed up something or don't like the way it looks get a wet washcloth and rub it and take it right back off now when you're done and you love the way it looks that's when you clear over that and no it does not affect anything you can use a urethane clear coat right over the top of acrylic paints and it seals it right up and there's not issues I've, I've, I've done it a billion times and I've seen it done a thousand times and there is not an issue there's not an issue unless you get on the internet and start finding somebody that just wanted to make some content out of whining about something that doesn't actually exist. But, you know, no one ever does that. Uh, okay. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and just put the trigger in here. Get out of here. Get that out of here. And bam. Okay. So, what we're doing now is we need the trigger stop. Spring goes in there. Uh, we got the, 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 the trigger that will drop down in here. So we can go ahead and drop the trigger down. Now, this is not a screw with the head missing. That is a set screw. Holy bejeez, that light just blew. But anyways, that's a set screw. And let's see where is the end. That end right there is where... A little Allen wrench and I know this is a Torx bit but this is what I have on hand and it works just fine it's locked in there and that's what turns it so uh, my little driver right here take that bit out for now BAM so what you're going to, want to do is just look through the body find the hole that's in the trigger and usually what I do is I will um, start this on the body on one side. And before I hit the trigger, flip it over, find the hole. Oh, sorry, it's hard. To do. I got to get it close to me so I can see. And I'll, yeah. So and if you line it up and you find the hole, just start screwing. <laughs> There you go. And what I do is just bring it to where it's level with the body there. And it's going to be level to the body there. Because this set screw is the exact width of the body. Um, so then this dude here, you have a hole. Uh, yeah, the hole on top of the trigger. Here, the hole goes to the back side. If you put it this way, you screwed up. So... What you can do is go ahead and look down in here and set the um, spring down in there. And what we're going to want to do is put that in the hole and glue that down. And that's going to give us our trip. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take that back and don't need much. I'm just going to put a little bead there. Pull that forward and I'm gonna put a little bead there try not to be messy it's hard it's hard to reach out and keep under the camera you guys and it's way more activator than was needed but 
and if if, if I, I won't even have the debate but just so you know this doesn't leave a residue behind that affects paints so you're good to go like once I'm done I, if I was to paint this I would probably go back after I glue some parts together and I'm I'm in a habit of, of years of doing other kind of paint work of wiping everything down anyways um, so anyway so that's there our trigger works fine um, let's now if we will go ahead and put this piece on and again I made that separate in the vents so you can see through and also for ease of painting and uh, all of that good stuff. So on this dude, really the only thing that needs to happen is just put you a bead of bl glue right there. And that's where it's going to set and that's how it's going to get glued on. So, um, bead across there. Now, since I can't get to the inside of this, I'm going to spray that. There we go and drop that on it set for a minute <clears throat> go locked on all right so the next part here is important don't glue the back of this on before you put this dude on okay because if you put this if you put this dude on this dude is not going on because this dude recesses just a little bit in here and it also recesses a little bit in here. So you need to make sure that you put it all together. Uh, the little brackets, uh, actually I think I've stuck that on backwards. There we go. So your little brackets go forward where the wires start twisting together, go, goes to the back and stuff. Um, so. And then once that's glued on, then you can take this dude. And that's why this is open so it can slide. Uh, of course, it doesn't have to slide that much. but so And then you'll just glue this dude on and push it forward. And it's all locked in there. And cool, cool, cool. But what we're going to do real quick <clears throat> is we're going to take this. There's this other little piece in here. This itty bitty. And the fin. And on top of the cylinder, there's a little matching uh, slot here. I don't know why the lights are bleaching out. So I guess I'm just nice and reflective, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, so that will go in that little slot. So when you glue it on, uh, just make sure that you're, you know, it, you glue it on and it's a, a 90 degree to, you know, it's straight <laughs> for, you know. Lack of a better term. Uh, I guess, I guess, maybe not straight, but uh, ang I don't know. The angle is, I guess, straight. The, <laughs> the angle is in line with the axis of. So, you got bottom to top. You want to make sure it's it's uh, ninety degrees back and forth. And did I get okay? There we go. I was looking at it while I was doing it. Okay, so that's what it would look like. What we're going to do now is we'll just go ahead and get this glued on. Uh, not much to it. And like I said, this is one of those things that, you know, I did it separate to, so you could get in here and you can paint these wires. So paint your wires, get them, let them dry, then come back with silver and do the little uh, clamps that hold the wire. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put, and again, pay attention to the orientation of this because um, and put it in backwards. That dry for a minute. Well, I'm telling you what, it's bleaching the heck out. Unless I'm down here. Huh. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, so that's glued in. Uh, this dude now can you, we can put some glue uh, on our little rails and slide her up in there, and that that's all 
it needs to be done there. Uh, if you want to, you can put um, this bottle's almost empty. I go through so much glue. And just on the side rail there, there you go. I'm going to blow the part across the table, drop that on, push it up. It is and you know that see-through as well that's a that's that's floating so you see you can see through there like it's supposed to be and all that good stuff so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the little fragile piece and uh we're just going to drop it down in there hang on let me carry or something in there but it like I said we'll just glue it down in there and he'll sit down in there just like that all good put a little drop down in here don't need a bunch all I did was just put a drop nope, let me get it in before it dries because can't hold my tongue right. There it is. So yeah, uh, on the actual like game one, it's a like a crip, like this is filled with clear acrylic and to the top as well. It's like it's some little like capacitor type thing. It's kind of cool. Um. Now the only thing that's left is uh, screw stuff. So we have our grip that will go on. It's separate, so of course painting. Uh, there will be six screws left. They're all identical. Um, not much to worry about there. They will go in and screw into the matching holes in the body. This side and I always ask where uh, I always get asked where I get this my little set of, of um, like all these little bits and that I've never had one break they're dirt cheap uh, at Harbor Freight I think it's like eight bucks or some crap I've got them sitting all over my shop and my house and my studio and all that so, um, has a, a, a bit for just about anything, especially if you're working on small stuff, but good little set. Like I said, I've, I've got sets that are six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, and the, the only thing wrong with them is I've lost bits out of them. Um, never stripped a bit out, never broke a bit. So, let's put all this over here. So there we go. So, Kyle Kestis inspired model kit. And don't forget your orange tip because you have to be legal and they have to legally be on there even if they're sitting in your house. Um, that's all I got to say about that. And uh, there you go. Kyle Kestis.